What's happening guys? Just want to come back and do a day two video on uh, my Meepo longboard. Uh, I rode it around a little bit more last night off camera. I uh, got a couple rips in today with the dogs, which was really fun with Bo. And um, it's great weather out. Let's go hit the trail, huh? Drop it, kick push, controller on, and we're rolling. It's a really cool feature about this board. Um, Meepo's gotten a lot of things right when it comes to the electric um, longboard game. I mean, there's so many cool intuitive things that other boards don't offer you. So right now I'm in high mode. Like day one to day two, you pick up a lot of this stuff pretty quickly. It's really cool. I was a little bit nervous yesterday. We got this meeting that like made me nervous. And um, after just getting some riding on the board, you just get comfortable. I mean, I'm really comfortable now. Today is a uh, much better day of riding. A little windy. brakes on the trail all the time on this thing and it's awesome to have. Now the board's kind of meant for the trail, right? It's meant to have concrete behind it. That's kind of what it's meant for. When you come to trail, you might run into wood uh, bridges and stuff. It doesn't do bad on it, but I don't like to rip my new wheels up over some old janky bridges. So I've just been kind of crossing and chilling. When you're going fast and you got electric power, you want smooth concrete, so. Now, back there on the trail I came across a little two pieces of concrete that had a nice little lip to it and the one great thing about these shredder trucks and these big wheels is you can hit into a lot of uneven surfaces and bumps and not perfect riding quality and it soaks up pretty good. Uh, you still want to brace for it but at the same time when you go and you're doing 15 20 miles an hour you hit a piece of concrete really quickly you don't expect rocks into it easy and makes it ride and ride and ride. Now I do have one issue that I've come across within 24 hours of riding with this particular board. So the NLS Pro people that would like to buy one, there's one thing that came across within the first day of riding and I'm sure they'll take care of it on the, the warranty side if I want to send it back, but at the same time, day one, I did have a brake light go out. When you look down here, you can kind of see that it's potentially poor welding quality right here within the soldering, but it went out on day one. So, not the biggest thing, but it is definitely something that I saw right out of the gate. Okay, so now we're on the actual road, and this is where this board really shines. Uh, the trails are great. It absorbs the impact really, really great. And now that we're on the actual road, where I'm in a bike lane, I'm legal to be here, I'm allowed to, you know, I'm not breaking any laws, I'm about to take it, take it out the entire street. Um, but this is where this board really shines. So this is where I go from the high mode to the pro mode. Now the pro mode is going to beef everything up and you can hit a really top speed and when you're doing top speed runs or running really hard on these things, 
you want the absolute best surfaces to ride on. Like that stuff by the the river down here, no thank you when you're on the pro mode, not for me. It uh, is just not the kind of riding that will end well or safe. Now when you've got plenty of concrete, and the great thing about this road is, is there are only, there are some cars, but most of them don't come from behind me too often. You got a little bit more room, you can do these speed runs and then see how fast you can get. I got to 28 and a half miles an hour, almost 29 miles an hour yesterday. So, uh, based on what the uh, remote was telling me. Yeah, the trucks are still really loose. So, I may not do a super high speed run, but I mean, I'm doing probably 20 miles an hour now, 25 miles an hour, smoothly. Always check surroundings. Always be peeking back in the front and know what's around you. And always be marking your line on the road. Avoid any crap that you see that fill in the potholes and things like that. Mark your line around that road so you don't uh, come flying off. <laughs> rocks are another thing that you run into on trail and on the road. And what I found with rocks, with these big 100 millimeter wheels, they just bounce right out from underneath you. So you can cruise right through a rock, which would send some smaller skateboards off their boards and on the ground. And um, whereas these, they just bounce right up underneath you. So it is relatively safe. Always obey the light. This thing allows you to go up a hill and it's just as much fun. And there aren't anybody out here doing it. Like, <laughs> I get this whole hill to myself. beautiful day to be alive that's basically that's a solid ride with me um, beginning to end really there's, there's tons of terrain there's tons of beauty uh, this board covers it so well and uh, you know I got to ride the entire time it was so cool to get one of these and just have this at our capacity just cruising around Colorado is the best state to live in the best state to be in and to enjoy it in different ways is so cool to be um, to be able to do and uh, to have a, have a new toy to be able to do that so so I'll leave you guys at that keep up the good work keep putting in work have fun continue to have fun we'll catch you on the next one
until then, I am out.